Oh, okay, so I am starting to pack. Now, I have done too much this morning and lost my motivation, so I better just get on with it, really, hadn't I? Um, I'm going to do Elliot's case first. It's not going to have any of his treats or anything, it's just going to have his stuff. This was bought by my grandparents, and he likes, he loves it, his Mickey Mouse case. So, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting in here, actually, not everything on the bed to go in. His Toy Story trainers are going to go in. He's going to wear his normal everyday shoes tomorrow and then I feel like we'll go Disney Disney on the trainers. And we're there. I've cut a couple of plain t-shirts in just because some of his t-shirts are short, short sleeves. They can go on top and also they'll double up as a spare just in case. But he's got all of his Disney t-shirts here all ready to go. Um, he's got his Mickey Mouse hoodie, pyjamas, a couple of vests. A few socks, he's in nappies, so we have bought a pack of 30 nappies, which should do us for the week. And then he's got two pairs of jeans, and his big coat, I'm also going to take his lighter raincoat. I also picked up, I don't know if it would be handy or not, it was only a pound, pound round, um, a kid's poncho. And then I'm starting also, I'm going to be taking my baby bag, some hand luggagey bits. Um, some nappy sacks, a little pack of wipes are going to bag, I'm going to take some more with me. This has, oh I've got a hand gel, and another one there. Um, hand gel, just a few sashes of cowpot and my, oh hello, thermometer strip, just because I thought it would be handy just in case. And a little pseudocram too. And I've got a little bucket of tissues, another hand gel, and a muslin. So that is all going to be going into there. done the nappies aren't gonna go in so I'm gonna put those in my case um, but I've got all of his clothes are in in this side I've got his big coat and his buzz trainers so one all done some people are finding packing harder than others it's tricky Okay, oh, zooming in. Whoa, <coughs> it's my medicine. Elliot's um, come to help. I'm just laying out my stuff now. I'll show what we've got. Let's just show you what I've got. So, I've got my documentation there of everything I need um, toothbrush, toothpaste, everybody. Mummy's medicine, isn't it, Elliot? Uh. Gonna take some paracetamol just in case. Uh, bike locks for the buggies, travel adapters. Um, need your neon headlights. Headlights? <laughs> I put those away down there, mummy. Uh, I've got my pregnancy notes, passports, and uh. e hicks are in here. <coughs> oh, I've got two pairs of gloves. Um, yeah. Makeup. This took me a while deciding this. Uh, makeup. makeup. So I've got my. I've got this in Primark to try just because it's travel. Um, Micilla water. <coughs> Excuse me. It's only 90p, so I've got that to try. Some cotton pads, to, cotton pads to take. Um, my foundation. My baking oil. I don't know if anyone uses this, but I love it. Really preps your skin. It's really nice. A nail file. Nivea cream, cheap and good. I'm taking uh, more of my everyday mascara, number seven, just it's small got nail varnish because we're going to be painting our nails when we're there. <coughs> Baking powder Fun. because, well, it makes me look more alive. <laughs> Everyone needs that. Um, I just use a yeah, cheaper rimmel powder for the top of my makeup. This I'm obsessed with. Dewy Fix does a really good job of keeping your makeup on. Really love that. 
Um, selection of brushes, I tend to use the Revolution makeup brushes. And this one, where are you, you little beauty? What are you? Oh, Smashbox. It's a really nice little sort of blending brush for your eyeliner, um, eyeshadow. I've got one, one eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this number seven one, mainly because it's the smallest one I've got. Put a few nice shimmery colours in it, and rather than taking a whole jazz contour set, um, in the day quite often I just wear a bit of the pink on my cheeks. Um, also number seven. <coughs> that is my makeup stuff. I'm going to take my hair straight as a brush. Um, but I need to leave them out. <coughs> Pants and socks, very important. Deodorant, also very important. I've got two pairs of jeans because, well, they're the only jeans I own. Um, I've got a vest, some shorts, and my very fetching Disney nighty for sleep time. And then I'm just taking one, two, three, four t-shirts. Um, and obviously... Are Disney ones, so that's my stuff. I'm gonna get this all in a suitcase, ready for Zach to do his when he gets home, and then Elliot Street. As you can see, my packing is going tremendously. <laughs> what are you doing? Right, I'm just putting in nappies are in, wipes are in. I'm just putting in the treats. So there is um, a few presents, Mickey bag, Buzz Lightyear, yeah, they're all unpackaged and unboxed because otherwise they're going to take up a lot of room. <coughs> and finally, I love this, his um, Buzz Lightyear costume, I don't know how to pack it so I don't ruin the wings. Um, but yeah, my stuff's in, just got Zach's stuff to do, we're nearly done. That is my case. Done. I just need to put the last bits in, like hair straightens and makeup in the morning and charges. Don't forget. Just packing some food for the train and some treats around the park. We've got a pack of eight croissants just because they'll stay good for a bit. So they'll be a good snack on the train and stuff. Elliot's got two boxes of the cereal bar from Aldi, um, a full pack of raisins just because I'll be handy all week. Oopsie, we did have five chocolate bars. I've been a bad girl. Um, a fresh pint of raspberries for the train, hopefully they should last, they should be fine. Pack it, bag crisps between us some biscuits so I should keep us going for a little bit. Hello Charlotte here I just thought I would show you what I'm packing for Disneyland food wise I'm not taking all of this but I'm going to break the packets up I think and take a few of each. Um, for me and Dave I've got, got some cereal bars from Home Bargains these are 99p and one was 149 I think for that one. Five in a packet so I'm going to take those. I might take these to treat I'm not sure. I'm going to take this from Home Bargains to mix in with the water fountain water they've got there and we'll take our own bottles and the children I'm going to do snack packs uh, the Asda I've got Asda bags and I'm going to do them yeah different packs each day some of the things I'm going to put in are these fruit things Mabel loves these fruit stars and fruit strings both from Home Bargains they love raisins I'll probably take all of these because they like those these I've never had them before they're like milky biscuits I presume and they were Five or fifty p. Some gingerbread men. I want the whole packet, and they come in little individual packets. I'll probably take a couple of those. I'll just take things in multiples of two at least, so they've got the same but a variety. I might take a couple of those. I might not. Animal biscuits, individual wrapped croissants, malt loaves, and pom bears. I'm going to have these basically as just snacks they can have when they're out and about so we haven't got to buy things. Um, no one needs to go in the fridge, and it will all keep. So that's the plan. Make some snacks, take them with us. We are going in Eurostar. There is quite a high luggage allowance. Obviously, if you're going a different way, you might have to think twice about this, but it will definitely save us some money. Anyway, hopefully uh, you enjoyed Sam's video and you can give it a thumbs up.
Thanks. See you again. Bye.